Eagle in Texas as we go to the bottom of the third inning. We take this opportunity to go down and visit with the head coach, Mike Kozlowski of the Air Force Academy. And first of all, Coach, uh, how does it feel to come back home? Because you're playing a home game, man. I know. I was pumped up. I told the boys on the bus. We played more games at Texas than we played our home field. So I told you guys this last year, we don't fight wars on our home soil. So we played our first 24 games on the road. And these guys got to get battle tested because uh, at the end of the day, they're going to do a whole heck of a lot bigger things than playing baseball. Uh, these guys are going to go fight wars for us. And we got to learn how to compete on the road. And our mission's once again, real simple, fly, fight, win. We didn't come out here to compete against Texas. Uh, we're going to come out here to beat Texas and win. Uh, we love coming out here, though, because uh, the fan base, everyone that's out here is so respectful of what these kids do, and they have great understanding, especially the whole state of Texas. Uh, when you're talking about patriotism and the flag and everything else, they get it. When you're talking about the fans, you don't got a nice amount of blue in the stands here today. Well, it's kind of a big game for us, and uh, everyone understands that. You know, playing the University of Texas. Uh, you know, this is about as big as it gets for our team and our program so to be able to come out here and represent our institution and more importantly our whole military to be able to compete against such a great team such as Texas. You know, Longhorn fans are going to know that you have eight or ten guys leave, graduate out of your program, no more eligibility, but they're still involved. They're still doing a lot of things. You were telling us about where they're at right now. Oh, shoot. Uh, we have a kid in medical school right now. We have uh, one kid a combat rescue officer. Uh, serving down at Kirtland Air Force Base. So it's kind of like a, a Navy SEAL with the Air Force version of it. And then uh, the, all the rest of the boys, they're uh, getting ready to go to pilot training and go fly jets and uh, go kill bad guys for us. And this year, you, last year you had the one one going to medical school, the rest were going to be pilots. So this year, is it any different? Uh, no, there's no doubt. I mean, we're, what we do is we're making more fighters. And when you're making them more fighters, these kids want to go put, uh, you know, do bad things to bad people and go put more heads on foreheads. You know, we love I, that piece. Yeah, I, I love it, Coach. Last thing, we'll get you back to work. Both of your children are involved with the Air Force Academy. Uh, they are, and uh, it's great for me, especially being a veteran and getting to fly missions uh, for 20 years all over the world and uh, represent our, our great uh, nation. Uh, my daughter just graduated. She's going to go fly jets. She's, uh, hate to say it, but she's kind of like her mom. She's a little bit cold. And, uh, you know, she's cold-hearted a little bit and wants to go do, you know, good things for our country. My son, the sophomore, he played baseball last year here. He was here at the Dish, and now uh, he's a professional parachuter. So he's on our parachuting team. He teaches young men and women how to jump out of an airplane safely. It's such a great leadership opportunity. Everything we do at the Academy is so cool because of the fact that it's so much bigger than just coming to play baseball. You know, these kids are getting a great education. Uh, they're getting to go do things, and they're jumping on airplanes, flying gliders, doing survival training, sucking eyes on rabbit's heads, punching people in the base, doing MMA, uh, learning how to lead. And that's what our nation needs right now. We need leaders for our great country. And all these young men, and I know I stated this last year for everybody, but I want everyone to understand, these kids have raised their hands to die for us. I say, oh, that's the United States, and that's a true, cool thing. And, uh, you know, I tip my hat to every one of these young men. No matter what happens on the, on the friendly fields of strife here on the baseball field, these kids have a whole heck of a lot more going for them and then representing our nation and doing really great things for our country. Coach, you uh, had a young man last year, uh, I mean, a big young man, Paul Skeens, who transferred to, to LSU. You say he's, he's probably one of the better persons you've ever met than a ball player. Oh, by far. And, you know, he's doing great things at LSU. And I tip my hat to Paul. And Paul didn't want to leave our school, but I think it was the right thing for him to do. Uh, he's going to sign a great professional contract, but he wants to serve his country. Now, when he's done playing professional sports, uh, he's going to get back in some manner and represent our nation. And he's a, a, just a true, great American. And that's a great part about what we have done, what we do. And that's a great inning for us right there. Um, but the hopes, well, the you hopes, want to stay on? Yeah, stay on. <laughs> Don't stay on for the bottom half. The home team, the home team got three outs in a row right there. Oh, they stay on. i got to coach third base. I'll shoot yeah, it over right. you guys. Cass, thank you. Good Good luck to you and your team the rest of the year. Thank you, guys. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.